Welcome back to another episode guys. Today I've got a pretty cool video for you guys. I'm out here with Bethany this morning. We're gonna go see what we can get done. It is a miserably cold morning. Um, this is one of those mornings when you probably should be under a blanket somewhere like watching TV or something, but it's a great day to be on the lake that we're on. Deep clear reservoir full of smallmouth. This is where I came with Ben last week. And like I said in last week's video, the shittier the day, the better it is to be out there. Well, today it is is a crappy day, but it's setting up a lot like the other day with Ben. The only difference is it's not gonna rain. Um, we're right in the middle of a front right now. Tomorrow's gonna be bluebird skies, beautiful. We had a lot of rain yesterday and wind, um, but today it's just a lot of cloud cover. And I think there's supposed to be a little bit of rain this afternoon. So that's a good thing though. I mean, we can stay out here a little bit longer. It's a lot colder today. The high today is only going to be like 37. And I know what some of you guys are thinking that live up north, like, oh, like, oh my gosh, it's zero, you know, negative 600 here at the house and all my lakes are froze, which is true. Like, me and Ben talked about this. It's like a completely different kind of cold down here in Tennessee because today it's 37 with 80% humidity. So it's just like, it's just a whole different kind of cold. When I was up there at Ben's house, actually when he got married was the first time I really experienced like cold, cold northern weather. And it's so dry and just like everything freezes or down here everything is just damp and like miserably cold so very interesting but we're out here i got on the afco stuff today out of down jacket i'm telling you guys if you don't have one of these things go pick one up it is you see me wear it all the time it's one of my favorite pieces of clothing and then i cracked out the big bass pro shop jacket on bethany this jacket is like i call that my like cold cold weather gear i think you could go to the arctic in that jacket and be all right but yeah that's what we're doing today and hopefully you guys will enjoy today's episode Super, super good indicator right there about what's going on. Look how he ate that, guys. Back treble hook is all he got. That means that he come up right behind that thing and ate it. Yeah, they're moving slow, slow, slow to that hit spot like Porsche right here, baby. Here, I'll get it. Yeah, it's the anchor. There you go. Yeah, he ain't a big one, but that fish just told me a ton that these fish are moving super super slow today where he just got that back treble hook so yeah it is the temperatures drop i mean the surface temperature has dropped what four degrees and last time i was here i was getting 48 46 to 48 now it's 44 i mean so you know that, that surface temperature has dropped a whole ton so that means that these fish i mean this we're gonna have to slow way way down to get them to bite which it's not surprising but definitely a good uh a good indicator of, of kind of what's going on and what we need to be looking for perfect crank bait speed with the loose speed full lfs 681 gear ratio <laughs> and i've got some a tournament pro oh i'm a pro and i've got uh I'm gonna go with some 12 pounds. 10 pounds. 10 pounds, I guess. I had to fill the diameter there. And I'm throwing. Uh, I don't know what I'm throwing. It's <laughs> pro rock crawler. That's pro rock crawler. Rock crawler. I'm, I'm, I'm frozen. I'm telling you, you keep practicing, you'll give G Man a run for his money. All right, let's turn around and go back the other direction. You know what? Let's go all the way up there.
Baby, get the net. That's a big one. Oh my god. Yep, that's a big smallmouth. That is a really big smallmouth. Wow. Okay. Uh -uh. I don't know where you think you're going, buddy. That's like a, I, I'm serious, that's like a four pounder. Watch oh, out for yeah. a second. Here he comes, here he comes. Yeah. Wow, that's a good fish. Here he comes, here he comes. Wait, wait, wait. It's all good, it's all good. You just don't want to come in the boat. He's got one travel hook in his mouth. There you go. Heck yeah, that's a good one. Hi. Told you it's a good looking <laughs> bank. Oh, wow. All right. Look at there, look at there. That is a good one. Oh yeah, he had that thing stuck a lot better than I thought he did. I thought it was a lot better fish. He handed me the pair of pliers. Which one? The red ones. Big one. Yeah. Wow. He absolutely I mean, he stopped that crankbait. Honestly, I thought I was hung up. That's probably a two pound fish. Wow. Lord of mercy, that fish scared the piss out of me. <laughs> I mean, that thing goes whoop, and just stops. And I was like, oh my word. I tell you guys, one big thing that I did on that crankbait was I switched those hooks out. And all both of those fish I've had, I've just barely had them hooked, one hook in their mouth. Whew, that's a good one, all right. There you go, guys. Little fish. It's a good little fish. Here, bud. Me and Bethany have made our way further back into this pocket. And uh, the water is three degrees warmer in here. I'm getting 47.3 right here. And what it is is there's a creek that runs in the back. But two, this is a lot more protected from the main lake. Um, that bank we were on, literally, the main lake, the the uh, channel swing, it swings straight into there. So it's bringing all that cold water off the main channel into that bank. And that can be a good thing and a bad thing. When you have those main channel banks like that, that's you know, just an easy place for those fish to position. They get everything brought to them. They don't have to do a lot of work. But at the same time, on days like today when that surface temperature drops really drastically, that'll be some of the coldest water in the pocket. So as we've moved further back into this pocket, this water started to warm up. And uh, as you guys just saw, I caught that smallmouth. So some of these fish, uh, they may not have moved out deep. They may have just moved a little bit further back into these pockets because that fish was behind that point. And so he may have moved from being on the main point to just right behind the point and be feeding back here in just this little bit warmer water. I mean, you wouldn't think three degrees would make a huge difference, but these fish, they will follow that warm water and going back up into these creeks where these creeks flow in, that water's just gonna be just a little bit warmer than the main lake. And so that's where they're gonna wanna hang out. But yeah, keep after it. I got snot running down my face. My hands are freezing. I can't feel my this pinky. I mean, that pinky, I I, I, it's nothing. I think you could cut that thing off with a knife and I wouldn't feel it. So oh, we'll stay out here though. It's all we can do. All right, guys, let me tell you something. All you boys out there, they're trying to find you a woman, trying to find you a wife. If you're not married yet, you got to look for certain qualities, all right? Is she good looking? Yeah, I'll kick my punt coverage on that one. <laughs> can she net a fish? Yeah, she's pretty good at that. We've seen that already. She can throw a bait caster. I mean, yeah, she does a pretty good job at that. can't catch a fish. She can, you can catch a fish. You caught a frogfish before. And I mean, you know, she's okay at cooking. We cook together. We cook together. And look, she can drive a boat. We don't go hungry. Yeah, we don't go hungry. That's for sure. <laughs> but this is the first time Bethany's driven my boat. We're going to get out here and let her run around here in a minute. But she's just kind of idling us around, taking us from place to place right now. But you got any advice for the people? Vest and a good pair of shoes. Yeah, they may look good. Poor Bethany, her feet are freezing. Those are those are some nice. I mean, those are good looking. So you got to go with the Crocs, not just any Croc, but the fur line Crocs. See, I got the Crocs. I hey Croc, if you want to sponsor me, 
Hashtag sponsor Alex with Crocs. I'll, I will take any Crocs that you want to send me because look at those bad boys. That's a, that is a fine pair of fishing shoes. But I'm dead serious. You put on a good pair of socks with these fur line Crocs, your feet are not going to get cold. So, yeah. My toes are numb. You ready to go home? Yes. It's getting cold, isn't it? I need my bobby. But the question is, you want to go striper hunting first? I guess so. GoPro go. wants to go striper hunting first, too. We got to go striper hunting, right? Let's do it. Let's do it. Got a hold of it. You got your mouthful, didn't you, bud? There we go. The heck, these things, <laughs> dang pliers are frozen. Uh, okay. There you go. Stop. another one he's not happy okay let's go bye lord of mercy be so cold and lethargic man they are they are mad today again just barely moving that crankbait guys i'm telling you this weather whew, it's got me moving slow it's got the fish moving slow they've moved off just a little bit every one of the fish i've caught has been about halfway back through the cast this must have they dropped the water and then that cold weather come in so like i said you know these fish want access to deep water and that doesn't mean that they want to move from four foot of water to 25 foot of water they just want to move from four foot of water to eight or nine foot of water and really kind of based on where they're biting it in the cast that's about where they've moved off to a lot of these fish that i was catching last week when i was here was in you know four to five foot of water and now it seems like they're hanging out in about eight to nine foot of water so yeah there's number three All right that's three yeah it's number three now we just need four and five and i'll be satisfied with the day and if we can't find four and five we're going striper hunting all right well we have made it back to the house we called it quits for today um bethany's shoes suck that's that's <laughs> what She's got a Crocs on now, Crocs power on. move on the Crocs. Um, but we made it back to the house. We went striper hunting for about the last 20 minutes of the day. And you know, I don't know, they just never did come back up. They never started feeding. And honestly guys, when that's about the only time that I can catch them because I don't got like gear to go out there and troll around or anything like that. I just catch them when they come up and start busting up on top. I'm not a striper guy. So I just, when I have a chance to catch them, I catch them. But I thought I'd talk about what I was throwing, what I was throwing it on to catch the fish that I did today. Uh, caught all my fish on this little mega bass crankbait. It's a new crankbait I picked up. So far, I have been digging it. It's a, it's got a really tight action. It's got a weight transfer system in it. Um, so it means you can cast it a mile, but it's still got that kind of smaller profile that I like to throw. And then I really like that crawl pattern with that methylate and that kind of transparency. It's just a really cool crankbait. Only thing I did to that crankbait was upgrade those hooks to owner hopper wires. The hooks that came on it were absolute trash. Like I bent them out with my finger. They were just so trash. So I put some owners on there. And uh, honestly, that was a power move today with the owners because all those fish were super lethargic. They were just coming up and getting that back treble hook. And when they do that, you wanna make sure that you got good hooks so that you stick them well. But I was throwing that on my Hack Attack seven foot medium moderate action rod. This is the cranking rod in this series. I got a six eight lose LFS and then some 10 pound Strike King fluorocarbon. And then Bethany threw the rock crawler all day, which I really thought she would have a chance to catch a few. Uh, on it, but they just did not want the rock crawler today. I don't know why, but it was cold. It was sucky. We went out there, but I did enjoy hanging out with my wife. And now I'm going to hang out with my bubby here because that's really where I, I wanted to do. I want to come home and sit on the couch with my dog, watch some fish and eat some chili and just hang out. But as always, guys, thank you for watching. Questions or comments, you know where to go leave them. If you want to check out all the stuff, you go hit that description. And as always, you guys are sweet. Sweet. And thank you for watching. They shooting! <laughs>